want you to look in my eyes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to clock it. Transition from the oil industry, yes. Why would you do that? Because... The oil industry pollutes. Now, today's executive order also directs the Secretary of the Interior to stop issuing new oil and gas leases on public lands and and in offshore waters. Tomorrow, Joe Biden will be implementing a stop to new drilling on federal lands. President Biden signed an executive order in January to temporarily halt oil and gas leasing on federal lands. The most controversial order pausing new oil and gas leases on federal lands and waters. Today's executive orders include making climate change a national security priority. What, what can President Biden do? What should he do? What will he do? He's actually president of the country that is the world's largest oil producer, and there seems to be no dialogue between the administration and the oil industry. What's the impact of a federal ban on, on new oil and gas leases out here? It's, it's absolutely devastating. When the administration says that banning federal leases doesn't affect existing leases, they're simply wrong. And they don't know how this business works. Another one of Biden's first actions after taking office was to halt all new oil and gas leases on federal lands for 60 days. Tomorrow, we're told, he'll extend that moratorium. It's just one more way that Biden is trying to reverse the stance of the Trump administration, which oversaw a dramatic increase in domestic drilling and production before the pandemic. That was a centerpiece of Trump's America First agenda. I guarantee you we're going to end fossil fuel, end fossil fuel. This morning, gas prices soaring to the highest average ever recorded. Gas prices already the highest in U.S. history. Tonight, record-breaking prices at the pump nationwide. At gas stations across the country, prices are shooting up higher and faster than they have in more than a decade. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Gas prices, shocking drivers at the pump. Come on, man. Give me a little break here. Tonight, shock at gas pumps showing prices most drivers have never seen. Come on, man. When you fill up, you just yeah. basically have to cover oh, your horrible. eyes. You know, gas prices, they keep climbing, and there does not seem to be any relief in sight. It's, uh, how many push-ups you want to do here, pal? And gas prices just continue to soar here across the valley and the nation. The U.S. gas prices are rising at the fastest pace we've ever seen. Come on, man. What is he doing? Americans are feeling the pain at the pump more than ever. San Diegans paying the highest gas prices in our county's history. Come on, man. Prices at the pump skyrocketing to new high. Come on, man. Oil prices have soared to a 13-year high. Oh, come on, man. Prices bump at the pump. The average gas prices in Nevada have never been higher. Come on, man. Soaring fuel prices are here, there, everywhere. Gasoline prices hitting record highs here at home and across the country. Come on, man. How long is all of this going to last and how much higher could gas prices really go? Not more, fewer. As Americans feel the squeeze at gas stations across the country, the national average for a gallon of gas has never climbed faster. Come on, man. Come on. Right now, gas prices are the highest they have been in seven years. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. Gas prices are now reaching record levels, and they're climbing higher every day. Gas prices reach record levels across the country. Come on, man. What are we talking about? Stocks fell sharply on Wall Street today as oil and gas prices continue to skyrocket. Come on, man. You're going to feel that for a while, that pain at the pump. Come on, man. Get a life. I guarantee you, we're going to get across the We did it. We did it, Joe.